All right. How are all of you lovely humans doing? Yeah. Appreciate that uh, response. Also, I appreciate uh, all of you 40 people that showed up. I can almost name every one of you. No. <laughs> so, uh, since the election has been over, uh, receiving normal junk mail has made me very happy. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, jeez. I'd very gladly throw away the pre-approved $30,000 loan for 35% interest rate away. Okay, here we go. <laughs> uh, I've been trading uh, stocks on Robinhood lately, you know? Uh, anybody familiar with Robinhood trading app? Yes. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Steal from the rich. Although I think the rich is stealing from me lately. Oh, come on. Don't write my savings. But, uh, you know, while I'm on there, I go, you know, Wall Street is a very corrupt establishment. We should abolish Wall Street, you know? But we, we, we cure a lot of poverty, I think. But in the same token, I go, well, let's see how my pox, my pot stocks are doing first. My pot stocks are doing Jesus. So like, what is this over, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> two weeks from now. Thank you, Kenny. Uh, so during this whole pandemic, I think of Greta Thunberg, you know. She uh, <clears throat> she all warned us, you know. She's like, we need to, you know, cut down on pollution. And I think she got upset. And she's, she's patient zero, is my belief. She's like, oh, no one's listening. All right, now I'm gonna have to pull out the <laughs> COVID-19 card. Okay, yeah, think about that. <laughs> Pollution levels were down for like a few months, you know. <laughs> All right, I'm trying new shit tonight. Um, when I got on Instagram, I was like, well, maybe I can garner some followers, you know. That didn't happen. <laughs> so I bought a drone with the follow me mode, and I tried it out, and the, the drone flew away from me, and I was like, not even a drone can follow me. God damn it. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I recently uh, thought of myself as a vegan, and then I, I just I realized I was like, maybe I'm, I'm actually just off-putting. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's what I expected. Thank you. <laughs> Let that one fly. <laughs> Woo! Also, uh, you know, I, I think animal cruelty is just, it's kind of, it, it's really shitty, you know, like, why do we have to kill animals to, for us to live, you know? I think I would be down with uh, a meat factory that is, is uh, accepting for um, natural causes. Yeah, this, this pig died of natural causes. Good, I'm a patient carnivore. <laughs> yeah, you know, that pig. Okay, so okay. Uh, when I watch UFC fights, I'm like, dude, first round, I'm going, are these guys going to marry each other yet? What the fuck is happening? Like, <laughs> so dumb. <sighs> All right. I've told this one a million times, but uh, I still believe this. Uh, there's somewhere in this great nation, probably Ohio, maybe Iowa. And there's five teenagers sitting in their grandparents' basement, you know, going, oh, dude, let's start a death metal band. Yeah, we could be like COVID-19. We're all 19 years old, you know? Connor, Owen, Victor, Ian, 
And Dan, dude, we could we could we could do it. We could make a death metal band. Wait, what happened? Victor didn't make it? Jeez, I'm really high apparently. <laughs> Ian just turned 20? Ah. Alright, well. Maybe we could be like COD 1920. We could, we could start a fish cover band, maybe. Because <laughs> everybody loves fish, right? <laughs> oh. um, I love I love Ancient Aliens, the show. It's great. Um, makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I was like, what was I learning in history class? Let's just throw that away. I was like, Ancient Aliens is where it's at. <clears throat> And I got to wondering, I'm like, you know what? This, the patriarchy sucks really bad lately. Yeah. So, back then, I feel like the matriarchy was... The matriarchy, maybe. So, what about the show about ancient lesbians? You know? An oral her story. God, this happens every time. <laughs> Deadening silence. Like, oh god, you went there. I did. I'm sorry. Uh, all right. So I recently, um, I've been considering doing crochet. Crochet. Just knitting. <laughs> all right. This is my first night doing stand-up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you, Kenny. <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. Vote of confidence over there. Yeah. Um, as everything becomes old, becomes new again, you know? And when I think about that, I think about our Lord Jesus Christ, you know? It's gone. He... He's, uh, I get to think about him being in the, the desert, 40 days, 40 nights, whatever. And, uh, he, you know, probably like, I, you know, I've been eating too much unleavened bread. I gotta, gotta cut back. I gotta get in shape. Uh, so, you know, I'm gonna, thinking about getting my disciples together. You know, and we could, we could start, a. Some sort of a uh, club. What are their names? The names? Oh, we have uh, you know Peter, mm -hmm. Paul. Then we get George in there. Uh, Ringo. <laughs> I mean, of course. <laughs> Judas. Uh, that motherfucker, dude. What a what a traitor. Anyway, but I gather them all together, you know, as I'm Jesus. Like, you all need to get your, pick up your crosses and get fit with me. And thus began CrossFit. <laughs> Duh. All right. all right, anybody else have any jokes they want me to tell you? <laughs> uh, I'm running out here. Uh, but I'm trying to fill time. Um, <laughs> oh, I got a classic. I know someone likes this one. So uh, when I first heard that uh, Mike Tyson was going to get into the ring at the age of 53, or back into the ring at the age of 53, you know, I thought, yeah, that's, that's a little eerie to me. Yes. And then when someone tried to tell Evander Holyfield that, he was like, huh? What? <laughs> All right, everybody, that's my time. I, I feel like I can do better next time. Please don't judge me on this one. Yeah! Don't worry, Nick, it's been a rough year for all of us.